Ronald, Colonel Sanders, let's talk about it. You're wrong, Bernie. You're wrong. Yes, thank you, Donald. If I may, I, I'm here today to prove the innocence of Abdullah Ali Jabal. Okay, an innocent civilian, a humanitarian writer, a journalist. Okay. The guy was even more guilty than I am. We did some digging. We have some very important information. I have a tweet from Mohammed Shihada. Okay, here we go. Point number one. Abdullah lived in an apartment in a multi-story building. No connection was ever provided by the IDF between him and the hostages. Says so it right here in the tweet. So I think we pretty much solved the case, but I'll, I'll go on, I'll go on, I'll go on. Number two, number two. The building where Abdullah lived was one of seven homes reportedly raided by the IDF on June 8th. So there, there you have that. I don't get the point. Hostages were held in only two of these buildings, and it's not clear yet which. Very, it's confusing. It's very confusing. It's not clear. The other homes belong to the families Matar, Seliha, Aish, Jodeh, and Al Habash. I'm just going to write these names down, huh? Yeah. Maybe look into that. But number three. This is a big one. Undercover IDF soldiers pretended, pretended, mind you, to have rented an apartment in the building where Noah Argabari was held. Do you mean in the middle of all this, they're still leasing commercial buildings? Melania, what's going on? We gotta get some listings. And we're taking them at 6% commission. I don't care what NAR says. Fuck that lawsuit. If I may, if I may. Yeah, you have to understand. This guy is a journalist focusing on a, a major news event. A major is taking up all of his time. How could he be expected to know what's going on in the immediate surroundings around him, even though those things have the absolute answer and keys to the bigger picture in which he's looking for? I mean, it seems, it seems an odd connection. It seems an odd connection that a journalist talking about humanitarian needs and aids uh, in the exact place where he's living and, and, the, and the actual problem and solution are right under his nose. Uh, it seems odd that he would make, it seems odd that he would be able to connect those dots. It seems odd. Innocence seems more likely, more likely. Okay, number four, number four. Abdallah, his wife and dad were shot dead by the IDF. It's terrible. In front of their children who were wounded or escaped before the building was bombed, so that's good. Now, Donald. And me. We know we can save more lives by doing one simple thing. Say it together with me. Free, Free the, the hostages, hostages now. now.